These ladies are spinning something special, handmade, one-of-a-kind Ethiopian silk. But more importantly, they're putting together a plan, income, independence, a future. And she's very happy and she's very proud not to be, uh, not to be looking someone else's hand. More and more Albertans are becoming involved in these types of empowerment projects. Kathy Marshall, originally from Beaver Lodge, runs the silk farm. People have seen the big donors, they've seen the big money, they've seen the big projects. Have they made a difference? Well, some haven't, some haven't. The 20-year vet of international development advises Leo Seguin and his crew on all their work in Ethiopia. Before they depart for Canada, Marshall evaluates their impact. The most excitement I see in Ethiopian communities is when there's groups like this. They're here, they're listening, they say, how can we help? So I think that's where Rainbow for the Future is the, uh, the model that we should be looking towards. Seguin is a successful contractor at home in Alberta. So you're, at this point here, you've, you've poured all the concrete you're going to pour. But his pour input it. here pales in comparison to the investments he's made. His time, his own money, and semi-annual visits, building hope for desperate people. There's extreme need here, and some of these people are suffering. It's, it's actually almost life-threatening. Uh, and that's why we want to assure Canadians that uh, want to be involved in this type of thing, that with really a small amount of money, they can make a, a tremendous difference. Making a difference, uh, changing people's lives, transforming people's lives. There are still many roadblocks to development here in Ethiopia. Inflation, specifically in regards to food, is up 800% over the last year. Government stability is an issue. And vulnerability in the areas of drought and disease means Canadian involvement here in the Horn of Africa is crucial. I'm really in awe of um, what I consider these people's faith because, um, you know, I, don't, I think I probably would have given up hope. Their trip wrapping up, the Canadians have faith in the future of Ethiopia and that a modest group from a small Alberta town can change lives halfway around the world. Hope is uh, the, great, the great value that human, human beings have. You have, to, you have to believe. If you don't have any belief, you have no any direction. With plans to return, it's back to Canada to raise more money and more awareness to end the pain they see firsthand. Children sick, women ignored, and extreme poverty. And education unlocks all of those things. And, and uh, once that knowledge is available, then uh, it's like an unshackling of, of slavery in a way. Abe Lincoln, when, when he saw slavery, he said, uh, this thing must stop. And, and the same thing in, that, in those situations too, these things must stop.